Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to take a look at yet another set of iOS apps for March 2018. Starting us off is an app called Hop, which is an alternative email client to the native iOS mail app or any other third party email client that you might be using. Hop is unique in the sense that it organizes your conversations into a more natural conversation flow, as if you were texting or messaging somebody. Hop will hide signatures, email headers, and quoted text for easy reading. If you want to view the original email, you can do so with a simple tap. Hop also organizes messages by people, so the ones you communicate with on a frequent basis, and organizes everything else into, well, everything else just one giant inbox labeled other. The whole point of Hop is to break down email into a less formal way of getting things done amongst people and coworkers. Quick replies, swipe options, and encrypted messages are just bonus features that just help you become more efficient with your email. Another cool feature is the ability to create specific channels. So for example, I created a work channel and in theory, I can add all of my coworkers into this channel and your email now becomes a pseudo Slack-like space in which you can quickly communicate with tons of coworkers without sifting through different emails to figure out the flow of the conversation. This next app is perfect for those who like penguins and just need a minute or two in their day to observe penguins doing penguin things. This app won't make you more productive or anything like that, but it just might make you relax a bit and smile for a moment while you observe penguins waddling around from multiple angles. There is the standard wide view, the underwater view, which is not always exciting, but when you see a penguin swimming by, it is by far the coolest angle. And there's also the biologist view for your penguin viewing enjoyment. The live feeds come from the California Academy of Sciences, and if you tap on the penguin news and more text in the bottom corner, you can make a donation if you wish. Pod is our next app, and this one could make you more productive, or at the very least, a bit more organized. This is an alternative calendar app to the stock iPhone calendar app, and honestly, they share some similarities in design and functionality. But Pod's main appeal are the three different views that you can easily swipe from at any moment. Giving a small swipe down will take you from the week view to month view, and one more swipe will take you into a full month view with your event text in each day box visible for quick access. There might not seem like there's a whole lot special about Pod except for the fact that it's a free alternative calendar app that has a very clean design and just works. There aren't a ton of extra features or fluff when adding events, and sometimes you just need that minimalistic feel to get more organized. Zedge is our wallpaper app that I use to find wallpapers for my iPhone, and I wanted to include this for those who ask in just about every video where I get my wallpapers from. Most likely, I pulled it from the Zedge app. It's not the cleanest app in the world, and the ads can get kind of annoying, but their selection of wallpapers are pretty good, and it's very simple to use. Simply find the wallpaper that you'd like, tap on the save button, and the wallpaper goes to your Photos app, where you can then change the wallpaper on your iPhone in the settings or photo app like you normally would. You can also preview the wallpaper on your lock screen or home screen before you decide to save it. Finally, our game of the month was going to be both Fortnite and Player Unknown Battlegrounds, aka PUBG, but since Fortnite is still invite only, we're just going to briefly mention that the new mobile version of PUBG is now available for your iPhone or iPad, and if you are a fan of the very popular PC game, then there's a chance that you're already playing it on your mobile device. Fun fact, I have actually never played PUBG before, and now I'm sure it's probably way better on PC than it is on my iPhone or iPad, but the graphics and gameplay so far in the iOS version seem to be pretty good. You can change performance settings based on your device, but I've been playing it with Mac settings and everything was really smooth. It's kind of hard in general to play a game like this on your iPhone, but I still enjoyed my brief time playing the game. For those of you who are also new to the game like myself, the premise of the game is simple. All of the players that are playing are dropped into a wide open area and kind of have to fight to the death. You basically have no clothes on, weapons, or supplies, but as soon as you land on your feet, literally, you start finding some really quickly. To prevent people from hiding in one spot like I probably would have done, the game will cut down on the map throughout the course of the game, which gives you very limited room to hide from people that you're fighting against and helps speed the game up. Again, I'm sure this is probably way more fun to play with a team and friends on a PC, but the iOS game wasn't a bad alternative so far. So that wraps up our list of apps for the month of March 2018. As usual, if there is an app that you'd like us to check out and maybe feature in next month's video, let us know in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.